All right, it's Coach Victoria here and Coach Seth. Seth. Got our optionals, and uh, we're on bars, gonna do bar basics, and Mia just tried to use these grips. She forgot her grips and said, I can use these. I can use these grips. <laughs> and so she's doing strap bar. <laughs> Here you go. Dude, Here's these things feel horrible too. Yeah, they are pretty old. Yeah, it's okay. Sorry, Savannah. I didn't mean to drop that on you. All right, ladies. So we're just gonna warm up with sets of ten tap swings on the bar set, like we did yesterday. Um, half turn dismount at the end. Okay. Um, on the side, we're gonna be doing the bounce bar over there, working on nice, pretty shapes. If you're having trouble staying hollow on uh, the way up to your handstand, just go over to horizontal. Don't worry about handstand, okay? And then you're gonna do a back extension roll on the floor next to it, right? And you're gonna do the same thing. If you're having trouble arching, do it smaller. It's okay to not hit handstand. It's not okay to be super, super archy, okay? You're gonna do your handstand shape against the pole, hold for like 15 seconds where you're using your feet to pull your back flat against it, right? Then we're gonna come over here. We're gonna do our clear hip drill from the block to the block. We're just working on head position, seeing the bar as we go around, and straight elbows. That's a big one, okay? After our two sets of tap swings over here, we'll start working on like kip cast handstands and kip cast handstands in a row and things like that. We'll work on giants on the high bar for Anna and like sets of giants, right? Um, and yeah, that's all. Let's go. Let's get to work. I've got these two guys over there on the strap bar that are doing giants on strap bar. That's pretty good, Mia. If you're done with back giants, yes, you can move on to front giants. I think she was trying to stop the giants ago. <laughs> All right. All right, now we'll, get, we'll have this on video, so we'll see how fast you guys are really moving, right? How many side stations you're really doing. They're very talkative today. I feel like it's just me. Yeah, we really do. If we didn't allow speaking during practice, whoo, I'd be done. I'd be out of here. I would not be able to work here. Anna, are, is that rip okay to swing on? Or are you just saying that because you want to do bars? Uh, Mia has that rip stop stuff. A tape grip. You want to try that stuff? I think it works better. I don't want to really grip up because it's already 740. Well, it's on you. All right, let's get it. It's on you. Yeah. Top swings, so I'm always looking for big tap swings. I want to see good shapes in the back. Toes pointing down, toes down. Nice job, candle in the front. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, one more, ten, half turn. Turn bigger, that's your blind change. Ow. <laughs> Ow. So a lot of the uh, higher level girls, well, <clears throat> girls whose routine is longer than three skills, they're, they're saying they're getting tired at the end of their routines and feeling like a little shaky going for their dismount. So we're, we're taking it back this week before Thanksgiving, just doing a lot of endurance, doing a lot of the skills in a row and working on shapes and refining those small things. Two, hollow knot pike. Three, push down in the back a little bit more. Four, five, kick to a candle in the front. Six, arch tap. There you go. Seven, arch tap. Eight, hollow, 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 hollow. Nine, toes up in the front. And ten. And half. Okay, good. So your ribs were out almost the entire time. So back swing and front swing, your ribs were sticking out, right? So I really want you to fight for this shape. Yes, yes, fight for that shape. Squeeze. I need that. 
push down. It's okay if your shoulders close as you're rising up in the back, okay? Push down on the bar and feel that shape, okay? All right, 10 tap swings. Going for a rip on the first turn. <laughs> Savannah's got some rippy, rippy hands. I gotta get Mia to show you that tape stop stuff. And one, two, three, four, five, swing a little bigger, six, push down, seven, push down, there you go, eight, good, hollow, not pike, nine, and ten, half turn, good, oh, okay, so half turn dismount, hang from the bar, all right, so here's Just gonna swing, turn. This can be the start of your blind change. So, yeah, never worked on this. Okay, yeah. So, uh, all but two of these girls are pretty new to us. So we're still working on solidifying a lot of basics, and they are doing a fantastic job. They're doing a fantastic job working hard on things that are new to them and having an open mind. So I'm very proud of them for that. Paisley, try that again. <laughs> She's going to have whiplash after that one. So. Oh, yeah? It's good for her. Good, Lane. Let's get, have straight arms coming out. Uh, what? What were you saying that I should try earlier? Toe hands. Yeah, so uh, you want to try them? Sure. We'll have to do it when the bar's a little bit lower, so work on this for now. Okay. Um, I still want you to do the side stations, though. You too, Paisley. I want you to do side stations. Okay, that's just a little bit early. Can you drive your heels down longer? All right, um, continue. I love that. <laughs> Try with straight arms. Yes, I can spot you. Mia is over here doing this little bouncy drill. That's right, good. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. All right, try again. Boom. Nice. Good, squeeze, flat hips. Ribs in, flat, 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 flat. That, yes, that's right. Good. Yes, with our tumble ta track, t tumble tack, tumble track T trainer, and pit pillow, and floor bar. Yeah, this is the floor bar that Velcro is real good. Yeah, that's the official name of it, actually. All right, let's go ahead and move on to uh, to Kips because we're late to bars. Just do regular cast horizontals. Just cast horizontal and flat hips into each kip. Yeah, everybody horizontal. Everybody horizontal. Come on, bruh. Push. That's better. Good. Yeah, we don't want the arch to be in your low back as much as your upper back, right? Okay, you're bouncing a lot, Lane. Smooth kip. That's better. Smooth kip, high compression. All right, good. What? I like smack to me. Not all of us are soft, Anna. <laughs> Anna was like, Lane, you hit your shin on every single one of those. I'm like, not all of us are soft. Have you done 20? Let's drop that bar down. Got pipe compression at the end. Good, you're piking a little early. Stay straight longer. Stay straight longer, longer. <laughs> Only pike when you need to, not whenever you decide to. Uh, Paisley, you can blind change whenever you're ready. How's it going? I'm good. I'm good. All right. I'm going to adjust this bar. Yeah, so toe hand. 
toe on, toe on shoot to hand. It's like that cool video you showed me of you doing that cool dismount at your old gym. It's like that, but we're gonna keep swinging. Yep. Nice lane. Oh, do you need to do something really quick? I'm lowering the bar. Do you need to do something first? Well, you're about to be. I gotta lower the bar. Well, can you just do one more set and I gotta lower the bar? Go ahead. You're good. Oh. Squeeze. All right, that's not bad, but you kind of did it as you were flying over the bar. I want you to finish in handstand. This is gonna be the most like hectic scatterbrain ever. I'm bouncing around all over the place. That's what I do. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Now don't get all archy and crazy. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. I don't. There was nothing wrong with it. You did great. You just kind of spazzed out for no reason. You know, you thought it was bad. I'm never tight. That scares me. Yeah. Well. That's right. That's right. That's right. Good job. Those shots look good. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Those are beautiful. Good job. You're looking good for a little. Little munchkin, little level six. Yeah, so she on strap bar is pretty ahead. I'm talking to the live, the live now, um, with front giants, and we've been working on like quarter blind changes on strap bar as well, where you strap in with one hand. You can check out our uh, video we did on that beforehand. But she's pretty on it there. Now she's gonna go get on a real bar, and she's gonna work on her clear hip drill a lot. And she's gonna, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I gotta do something else. You could do them over here with bent knees if you want. I'd rather get you on a real bar and get you going on some clear hips trying to hit a handstand, you know what I mean? Her clear hip is real pretty. She's a little bit nervous and she's like, hmm, I don't know about that handstand. I don't know about it. But this is what you do. If you got a kid that's nervous to go to handstand, you just wait until they're not and then they'll do it. That's it. That's the secret to coaching. We teach and then they're not afraid. And then they will do it when they're So I'm not worried about it. All right, you, you're new to this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of these block stacks, scoot it back, and that's gonna be like your starting block. You know what I mean? Uh, right there, good. Right there is good. Uh, you're going to need two blue walls to put under the ends of here, or two panel mats actually, to put under the ends of this mat because we're making like a little channel. Huh? You're doing hip cast handstand now. You're going to do hip cast handstands in a row. Go. Grip up fast, Paisley. Let's go. Wow. Wow. Very good. That was perfect. I want you to get a little bit more comfy on top of the bar. See how long you can hold it. So that, um, for our little XL Diamond lane that just went on the bar is something she's been working on for a little while and uh, has had pretty good success with recently. But it is semi-new to her. Okay, all right. 
All right, tag in. Um, me and Ins know where to put this panel on it. It's going to go under the ends of the, the mats. We just scoot it back. Okay, I got it. Okay. Yeah, she, I'm just setting her up for toe hands. Okay. What am I doing here? Male, sister, you're going to do a set of 10 tap swings first, and then we're going to do some clear hips, okay? With spot. Or you can do them there. Without spot. It's up to you. Okay, we told her she didn't have to. Okay, jump. And one, two, three, four, five, six, that's better, seven, eight, nine, ten, half turn. Half turn. Yeah, it's fine. All right, Paisley, you choose. Are you going to do them with spot over here? Are you going to do them without spot over here? Huh? With spot. With spot? Okay, cool. Mia needs a little guidance on what she's supposed to do. Yes, I'm coming. Did you get those set up? Yes. Okay, so strap in. I'm sure you knew that. Strap in. So basically, what you're going to do is you're going to start with your feet on the blocks, right? You're gonna jump to the tight arch like we were doing in the line drills earlier. Mm -hmm. Snap feet in, and then soul circle around. Do you know how to soul circle? I, well, I know what it is, but I know what it is. Okay, this is where you go feet on and go all the way around. Now, the biggest thing when you're doing a soul circle, if you feel like you're slipping or you don't make it over and you're coming back down, do not go through with your feet and skin the cat, mm -hmm. okay? Just leave your feet on there nice and just swing back through because you're strapped in and you're not gonna die, all right? So scoot your feet back to a nice push-up position. Shoulders slightly behind, good. Jump tight, arch feet on. Arch feet, good. Yeah, good, so remember, jump to the tight arch, then feet on. Try again. Scoot back a little more. Yeah, you want, I want like nice shape before you go. Good. Push on the bar strong, good. Push on it strong, ready? Jump tight, arch, go. That's correct. Good. Now you keep doing that until you make it all the way around. Once you can make it all the way around, you're going to go around, jump off back to the start. Right? Keep working. All right? So she, I'm getting her started in some toe circles and toe hands. She has a really nice like toe hex dismount. And so I had a feeling that she would be pretty good at these. Okay? Yeah? All right. Let me see. Remember, jump from the tight arch. Paisley is trying, are you, are you turning? Yes. Yeah, she's trying to do a blind change on the bounce bar. And she's a little late. You're going to start turning a little earlier. So I'm going to go spot her and show her what I want to see. So you're going to start turning a little earlier there. Sorry. Yep. You're going to see that again. You have to, you're going to have to go earlier so that you finish in handstand. If you wait too long, you're going to be past handstand. Go. Accuracy now. Push, push, push. Drive open. That part's going to be the push into your front giant. So after the blind change, make sure you're pushing strong on the bar all the way to your back and you don't let go. Okay? All right, let's see it again by yourself. So you want to basically, like, as soon as you bounce off the T-trainer, you need to start beginning your turn. You know what I mean? Go. That's why it's so important to shoot your toes straight for it without arching. Go. Yeah, that's the right idea. Because if you go all the way to handstand first, it's going to be too late. Go. I wasn't trying to turn all the way. <laughs> Um, you could, if, you, if you're really struggling, you can get the, the ye little yellow pirouette mat. And you can just do quarters. Would that help? Yeah, let's do that. Always thinking of solutions, not problems. Same thing, until you're not falling. Savannah, you're doing cast handstand. Kip cast handstand and you're just gonna kip out, okay? And then do it again.
push. Good. Shape on the way up, push down, chest in. Yeah, this is really gonna work on the push down, chest in. You, you, you go like shrug your shoulders, chest out every single time. Okay, push down, chest in. Push down, chest in. Okay, fight for it. That's gonna save you so much energy if you can get good at it. Because right now you're, you're expending too much energy in your routines doing the easy things. You know what I mean? Like just kipping and casting is taking up all your energy and you've got nothing left for your double back dismount. Nice job. Very good. What do you mean, dang it? That was perfect. Very, very good. You did, you did what I asked. You did perfect. Yeah. No, just one right now. We'll do two in a row in a minute. You did good. That was pretty. I like the control. I like you using your wrists. What are you doing? What are you doing? This way? Yes. Yes. That's correct. What? What are you talking about? All right, go. Yeah, but we're going to do it with the T-chain. What? With the T-chain. Oh. Go. What? Sorry, I was just watching it happen. Ready? Boom, go. Yeah, restart. Ready? Let her struggle. Let her figure it out. Yeah, that's what you're doing. Squeeze. Ah, what are you pushing your butt this way for, huh? Is that helpful? Does that help? Is that easier? Yeah. Is it easier that way? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, squeeze. No, you can take it off. Or move it over to the side, either one. Well, yeah. No. Yeah, so you know all the line drills we do where we're working the quarters and the blind changes and everything and you're all like shape all over the place and you're like, yeah, whatever, and you just move on. Yeah. yeah. It'll take one good time if you decide you're going to work a little hard on your line drills. So let's do it now and soon happens. Let's see how it's going. Something crazy. Yeah, ooh, oh, that was quick progress. Let's see that again. Good, you're waiting too long still, Lane. You're waiting way too long. What, the bar? Yes. If it's not, you ain't gonna break it. Yeah. Uh, Paisley, that is correct. Good job. Yeah, you're doing good. <laughs> Are you stuck in a spring? I don't know. Okay. No, you're good. Try it again. Yes, again. Now get to the block. Yeah, Mia, there you go. All right, now you can do the exact same thing, but we're gonna shoot more towards a handstand. It doesn't have to be perfectly handstand, but we're gonna shoot more for a handstand. Yeah, let's do it. Yep, so you're gonna have to shoot off a little bit earlier and then pull the bar boop, up to your handstand. Yep. Yeah, it's good. You're just waiting too long. Now you just start shooting out a little earlier. A little earlier, right? I scraped my leg. <laughs> I scraped my leg. All right, go. Boom, boom, scoop. Hey, that's starting to get better. Good job. That's really good for day one, Mia. You're doing excellent. Drop. Okay, all right, that's getting better. Oh, look, you did that without your shoulder pop out. That's good. Lane's got the weirdest shoulders in the world. If anyone watching this wants to uh, come and fix her shoulders, they're welcome to come try, because it's been attempted. It's been attempted by many a, many a doctor slash physical therapist has tried and failed to fix her wacky shoulders. So if any specialist thinks that they got what it takes and wants to do it for free, 
Boom. I'm really wanting you to focus on that a little more, but also this. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, you just got to finish it all the way. That's good. Push. Yes. So after you pull and shift, then you have to push. Because if you don't push, you're going to have been armed. Pull, shift, push. What? Do that again. And go. I got tickets too. I did. Ready? Go ahead. We're going to Pittsburgh. Give it some swang, Paige. Give it some swang. No. Just give it some swang. That's better. Now, how is it so much better whenever I'm over here? All right, go. Shoot. Wow. Well, that's the same? No, I didn't. Come on. You think I'm helping. I'm not. Let's do it. You're just over here, like, just struggling, like, what am I going to do? Paisley, I need you to really give it your best. Really give it your best, okay? This is something that we really need improvement on. There you go, Mia. See, that's a back hip circle, and that's not really going to help your clear hip. So I want to see you really give it your best. That's also not a clear hip, so that's also not going to help. So you need to actually shoot back to the block again. Do it for the live. Come on, do it for the live. Drop, shoot. Yeah, just like that. You just got to finish on the block. That was perfect. Very good. Good. Let's show the live how good you are at going to handstand, huh? Ugh. And then your fans can comment and say, you've got it, just do it. You know what I mean? <sighs> Ready? Uh, Savannah, that's good. Get your hands closer. How many? Yep. Uh, you want to do three or just do one? Do one. One first? Okay. <clears throat> What about your hand? There's nothing wrong with your hand. Go. Good. You gotta go for a handstand. If you're gonna go to handstand, then you have to go for a handstand. You know what I mean? If you give yourself a horizontal amount of swing, then you're gonna only go to horizontal. Go all the way for the handstand. Look at that. Good job. Good job. Good. Does it just take you a while to get going or what? I don't know. I feel just a little bit like of hesitance from you. You know what I mean? And I want you to be like, yeah, I want to get this and like just really go for it and just attack it. You know what I mean? Yeah, you got it. Got 12 people watching you? That's so good. They must be really cool people. You, you can chalk up and stuff. No stress. <laughs> uh, not. Not the level nine in the background tripping on air. <laughs> yeah. It's good, man. It's real good. Yeah. It's real good. Ugh. Savannah, you want to do a clear hip? Yeah. Are we going to go for a handstand? Let's do it. And then we'll finish on this probably. Good. 
and go. That's all right. No big deal. So yeah, remember the block drill. We can't, it's not a circle, it's an oval. We go down and then we go up, right? If you feel like you're spinning around, it's probably not gonna go to handstand, you know what I mean? So you gotta make, make it feel like you're dropping down really low through the bottom and then shooting up, okay? And the, what's gonna be the lowest part? Yeah, like your head and your shoulders, yeah. Because your head's going to be in a double chin position. Your shoulder's going to be what's driving the way. Okay? Yeah, go again. Now, whose grips are making the bar black? Probably mine. Yeah, probably just the man's. Why? I don't know. I think it's yours. Me? Yeah. Why? It happens every time you do bars. <laughs> do I don't know. This does. Yeah. All right, go. And what do you mean every time I do bars? Every time you do bars, it leaves like black marks on it. Maybe you just like burn the chalk. It's okay. That's okay. Yeah, you're just kind of locked in this feeling of just always being spin, 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 spin. We just have to unlock that feeling of down and up, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to work in the future. We're going to work a lot of big old underswing dismounts and then dump over, right? Because that feels more like a clear hip handstand than a... Uh, a back hip circle, you know what I mean? So we've got to make sure it's big old underswing and then go, okay? Yeah, all right, you can take your grips off. Lane, you can do one more hip cast handstand, then take your grips off. Here's your block to do this one more time and take your grips off. <laughs> yeah, very good. Mia, you can do that one more time, and then you can get ready to condition. You're struggling? Yeah, I saw. Uh, you want some, some motivational pep talk, or? You want me to say, you poor, poor thing? No, well, no I'm not struggling today. My hands are already like, it's so Okay. That's why we're doing it. So let's see. Let's see five in a row with good shapes. What? Oh my gosh, Be Real just went off, guys. Better go take it. Only over there, though. He is not one of those people. Okay, but I want to do my handstand like every time. Go ahead. You what? It must be a lot. All the fans watching really motivated Lane to hit handstand a lot today. Yeah. Push. Good. That's a lot better. On the way up, hit the shape. Oh. The first one was real good. Try again. <laughs> so you hit a beautiful shape at the top of your handstand. I'd like to see that same like push into that on the way up. You know what I mean? So it's not just let me slouch and arch and be ugly and then be super tight at the top. It's like going to be tight and pretty the whole way there. Okay? You guys go get ready to condition. We have legs light and core light. Thanks, Anna. <laughs> Try again. That one was actually tighter on the way up. Now let's do three in a row. Go. You can end the live. She said we can end the live. All right. Subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment of what you want to see us do.